In this video, I'm going to show you how to stop the bomb concepts out of the bunch tight in formation and utilizing a, a new 335 wide defense that I am really, really enjoying. Now, if you are new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and click the subscribe button. Also, if you're new to the channel, I do want to let you know that I actually just updated our Patreon membership with a 45 minute tutorial on this uh, 335 wide defense. That's an addition to an ebook that I've already got on this 335 wide defense. Um, actually, it's more than 45 minutes. It's actually an hour and a half, or an hour and 15 minutes. Um, two videos that really walk you through step by step why this defensive concept is the best defensive concept in the game. The beauty of our Patreon membership is if you join it, it's only $10 a month and it gets you access to everything. So I've got 18 offensive and defensive guides in there. This 335 wide is one of them. We also have a ton of updates for those guides as the year's gone on, things that need to change or improve. And you get all access to all that. And then if we um, release any new eBooks, you'll also get access to all those updates as well, uh, as long as your subscription's active. So basically for just $10 a month, you get access to all of my exclusive Madden content, all my eBooks, all my material, everything. So uh, super good deal. And the cool part about it is you can cancel it uh, whenever you want to. It's just a month to month membership um, that you can sign up for. So cover for show two is the coverage out of the 335 wide that we're gonna be talking about. We're gonna audible down from 335 normal out of the 46 playbook. The reason we do this is for two reasons. Number one, we get safeties at the linebacker position so they can play better in coverage. And then number two, we actually get better adjustments when we audible down from three to five normal because we can cross man those linebackers onto anyone on the field. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. And how we're going to defend this is we're going to audible down. You want to wiggle this guy just like this. See how I'm wiggling him here? He's not going to move to the left, and that's important because it's just going to help keep your disguise and help your setup. Now, what we want to do with this is we want to go ahead and purple zone or uh, blitz our, we're going to blitz our user, crash our line out, and then we're going to purple zone both of our linebackers on the line of scrimmage uh, into curl flats, and then we're going to man up our slot corner on the outside receiver in the bunch tight end, and then lastly, we're going to put a bluff blitz on our left of screen defensive end. So you see, this is what the play looks like. And then as you can see right here, we're able to shoot the run if they run the ball. And then um, we'll show you how this works. So the first thing I wanna show is how this works against the bomb concept out of this, which is basically this right here. And what you're gonna notice is with that man coverage assignment, it's going to help the, the defense kind of play this a little better. So we can feel free to kind of hang down here. Look at that quarter zone. You're gonna see that that's gonna run over the top and it's actually going to take that away, but because we've kind of um, coded the recoded the match with the main coverage to kind of tell it that you need to go to the vertical route. Okay, so the next bomb is the civil bomb. Let me show you that real quick, and that is basically a wheel, a streak, and, and a zig or an out. So you see, this is what it looks like. Now this is a little bit easier to defend, in my opinion. Um, but what you're going to see here is you can just use the bomb, but you also have that quarter and you have the man coverage. So you see that that bomb is really not that open. Okay. So that's another reason uh, as to why I love this defense. Now, what about some of the, so once you start kind of bagging their bomb, then what about some of the traditional things that people like to do out of this? Well, one of those is just stock boot over. And what you're going to be able to do with this is you're going to be able to kind of use her in here, kind of bail back to this, and you see that by and large that concept is pretty much taken away. Okay, so we're able to take away boot over, and then the um, the next thing is they're going to try to throw a corner route to the left side. So I'll show you what that looks like. So again, it's the same exact covered shell. So we're going to run streak corner flat. And then we might run a curl flat on the right. Now in this, you might need to kind of hang here, but what you should see is a nice match concept on the tight end. And then you also see here that that corner route should get bagged by the outside corner. Now to be honest, it actually 
got way more open than it normally does. So let me show that again. Remember, you want to wiggle this guy just a little bit. So this is, uh, again, curl flat corner, streak, corner flat. And what you should see, there we go, there we go. That's what it's supposed to do. Okay, so I'll show that in this replay, but it was completely taken away. So you'll see here, you've got man coverage on that. And then you've also got this nice switch off that's gonna happen here. And then you've got the curl flat out here to kind of rally down to this route. And what you're getting over here is a nice man coverage on the tight end, okay? Now something that people have started to do um, just to kind of counter some of, these, some of these adjustments is they're gonna post their tight end. And this is honestly, I think, something that spam and kind of put people onto um, in bunch tied in. Most people weren't doing this. But I want to show you just the basic route. So we'll talk about where we need to use her. What you'll see here is it's not a terrible call because a tight end post can get open, especially if they clear it out. Now, it's not completely because of the man coverage on. Uh, square the coverage the outside quarter zone is going to be much more equipped to be able to handle this so because we've told him you're you don't have to worry about him in man coverage so we get the man coverage here once he does that you get a switch off now look at that quarter zone right there playing that really well now let me show you why this could be problematic if you're just running traditional match um, and you're not using some of these concepts that I'm sharing in this video What's going to happen most of the time is if they go to that concept right there, that's going to break it because he's going to have to follow him. And then you see that that's going to be something that they could have potential opportunity to get open, especially if you take there, the quarter flat was able to guard it. But let's say that you don't have a quarter flat because I've been teaching, um, you know, maybe in a lot of people have been teaching not to have those. Um, you'll see you get something like this. And that's really what has kind of tempted people to do that. But when you man up the square receiver, what you'll see is now they have no clear out route over there because they want to basically, what they really want to try to do is they want to double crosser you. They want to crosser you on the left and they want to crosser you on the right. Well, the problem is because you've manned that guy up and then any other route's going to be an inside streak to the box, then you've got really good coverage now on that route and on that route right there we were able to complete it but you see that we have a player that's right in the middle of the field to be able to to make a play so this defense really simplifies your user if you think about it you don't have to really worry about it so let me give you an example so let's say we run a um, let's say we run a true streak over there now the problem is we have no clear out on the right side of the field by the way but let's just say we do that, okay? Very possible that that could happen. What you're gonna notice here is this tight end post is still gonna be locked down because we have the main coverage on square uh, to be able to take that away. So this kind of takes away the counter that a lot of people are gonna run to the match concept. And then last thing I wanna share with you here is um, a, a quick little snippet here on defending the quarterback run. Um, so what you want to do, and again, I know I'm using Brady, but when they roll out, you just click your right stick and it's going to send your three wreck. And now that you, you're going to kind of, you, again, you're not going to completely stop the rollout. I'm not saying you are. I'm just saying you're going to contain the quarterback because you have those two curl flats and the three wreck that are going to be able to kind of converge. It forms a triangle around the pocket. Um, it had, for me, it's been fine. It's not been perfect, but it's been good enough to force them to have to pass or to, or to force them to have to just scramble, 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 and then get them in a chess match where I could send some pressure. Or if I really wanted to break up a quarterback scramble, guys, it's not that difficult. Just out of this defense, globally blitz your linebackers, spread your linebackers, QB contain, and then... You're gonna purple zone um, both the ends. You're gonna three wreck your nose tackle. And then you're gonna put your adjustment on that guy. Now it's basically the same thing 
And now if they try to roll out here, you're gonna see that it's gonna be really hard to do that. And then they're gonna to have to force stuff, okay? So that's a way that you can kind of hang with this. Um, and then again, in the right situation, then in the right situation, don't be afraid to you know run a little of this and protect the sticks or whatever. And now they can't really roll out on this, this cover shelf. So you can kind of mix this in at, at certain times to take this away. But the beauty of this is the, the base call is gonna be that match and that match is gonna force them to check down, check down, check down, check down, check down, have to really work to get their routes up the up and down the field. And then you're gonna be able to pull up a stop, in my opinion. So this has been a great defense for me. If you wanna learn more about this defensive coverage, um, be sure to join the Patreon. It's all in there. And right now we're going through and teaching how to do it against pretty much every um, major offensive scheme in the game. So if you want to get access to that, again, there's a link in the description below. It's only 10 bucks a month. The cool part is you can cancel whenever you want and it also gets you access to all of my eBooks, not just my 335 wide eBook, all of them. And I've got 18 of them in there and we've got more on the way. So thanks for watching. Really think this 335 wide is coming together. So if you want to get access to that defense, in the description, join the Patreon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.